everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daria, if you're new here. And today's practice is really short and sweet. This is just 10 minutes of movement that can help you refresh or reset, maybe at the beginning of your day or somewhere in the middle or at the end of the day, wherever it fits in for you. Uh, but you will just need yourself and some place to move today. And whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and get into it. We'll get started right away from tabletop. So find your way up onto your hands and your knees and create a solid press into the earth through all the pads of your fingers. Just take a few moments here, rock your hips a little bit from side to side, maybe moving the ribs laterally as well, just waking up the body a little bit. And begin to breathe a little bit deeper so your inhalations fill from your belly all the way to the top of your chest. And let every exhale breath be a chance to anchor and to reconnect to the present moment. With your next inhalation, start to soften your belly, lift your tailbone to the sky, drag your heart forward and turn your eyes up, coming into cow pose. When you exhale, press down, tuck your pelvis under, hollow into your core, close your ribs, and let your head get heavy here, rounding your spine. Next inhale breath, soften your front body, lift your tailbone, pull your heart forward, turn your eyes up, cow. Exhale, press down, hollow front body, rounding the back body, cat. Two more, riding your breath, inhale, arch. Exhale to round. Breathe in, creating space in your core, through your heart and your chest. Breathing out, press down and spread the breath between all of your vertebrae. Come back to a neutral spine, steadying in your tabletop. Curl your toes under, take an inhale breath to prepare. And when you exhale, lift your knees and send your hips all the way up and back into downward facing dog. Pause, take a couple breaths in down dog and let the breath wash up and down the back line of your body, feeling the space between all of your vertebrae, feeling the muscles that run alongside of your spine lengthening. Slightly curl your sitting bones up and back, like taking a really little baby arch into your low back. And then check for space in the back of your neck and around your shoulders. Try to broaden your upper back. And then just float your heels toward the earth so they don't have to come all the way down. One more inhale breath here. Stay as you exhale. Next inhalation, start to look forward to your thumbs. And as you exhale, travel to a fold at the top of your mat. Separate your feet about hips distance apart, maybe slightly wider, and just drop your whole torso here. Let your head get heavy. Take a little sway from side to side, bending into one knee and then the other, decompressing your entire spine. With your next inhalation, root into your feet, pull up through the fronts of your thighs, glide the crown of your head forward and your tailbone back, coming into a halfway lift. When you exhale, place your fingertips to the mat, pick up your toes, turn them out, bend your knees and sink your hips to the bottom of a squat. At the bottom of your squat, palms to prayer at heart center, lift your chest to your thumbs, inhale. When you exhale, fingertips find the earth again. Lift your hips, parallel your feet, and just fold forward. We'll do that two more times. Breathe in, halfway lift, stretching out through the line of your spine. Breathing out, lift your toes, turn them out, bend your knees, and sit your hips low. Palms draw to prayer at heart center. Inhale, steady through your uh, support of the feet beneath you, and lengthen through the crown of your head. And exhale, fingertips to the mat, lift your hips, fold forward as the toes turn back to a parallel position. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, toes out, heels in, bend your knees, sit low, malasana. Inhale here, palms to prayer. Exhale, fingertips to the earth, hips lift, feet turn back to parallel, fold forward. Now driving down into your big toes, squeeze a little through your core, round your spine and slowly roll all the way up to standing one vertebra at a time. Let your head come up last at the top. And as you rise, let's take a few rolls of the shoulders toward the ears and then dropping down the back. Just finding a little bit of release, a little space here. Roll your neck in one direction, tucking one ear toward a shoulder, looking all the way up around and back, and then go the other way. Take this slow and sweet and easy, letting the intention be 
softening and making space rather than forcing through anything. Then start to find a neutral position with your head again. Take an inhale breath, circle your arms wide and all the way up to the sky. Follow your palms as they touch overhead with your eyes. As you exhale, long spine diving all the way down into a forward fold, release your head at the bottom. Take a breath in and halfway lift, crown of head forward, tailbone back. When you breathe out, place your fingertips down, pick up your left foot, step it really far back in space behind you. Root into your left palm, and with your next inhalation, turn your right fingertips up to the sky, coming into an easy twist. As you exhale, right fingertips come down to the mat, send your hips a little back in space, press down, round your spine, pick up your right foot, and just step back into downward facing dog. As you breathe in, lift your heels, round your spine, come forward into high plank. As you breathe out, micro bend elbows and knees, glide from the tip of your tailbone up and back into downward facing dog. Breathe in and stretch your left leg high, three-legged down dog. As you breathe out, softly step, left foot forward, transitioning into the space between your thumbs. Sink your right knee to the earth. As you inhale, float your arms to the sky, coming into Anjaneyasana. As you exhale, interlace your fingers, bend your elbows, and then catch the back of your head in your hands. Create an energy exchange between your hands and your head, so they're pressing into one another. Lift your heart a little and melt your hips forward. Take another inhale breath. And with your exhale, release fingertips to the top of the mat. Lift your back knee and just step into a fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, inflate through your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, press down, long spine, reverse swan dive. Rise all the way up to standing, eyes look up. Exhale, palms to prayer, heart center. Pause here, softening or closing your eyes. Just take a breath to feel into your body. Notice what's moving through your space. Blink your eyes open and release your palms down. Inhale, reach wide, reach all the way up, look up. As you exhale, long spine, dive down, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, place your fingertips to the mat, pick up your right foot, take a big step to the back of your mat. Place your right palm down and as you inhale, turn your left fingertips skyward, coming into a revolved lunge. Pull your feet together here. And then when you exhale, circle your left palm or fingertips to the top of the mat. Press down with a rounded spine, pick up your left foot and step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, heels rise, make a big wave forward through your spine. Imagine you're made of water. And with the exhale breath, the wave recedes all the way back, carrying you into downward facing dog. Breath in, stretch your right leg high, three-legged down dog. As you breathe out, soft step forward, right foot through to the top of your mat. Sink your left knee down. Inhale, let your arms rise, Anjaneyasana. As you exhale, interlace your fingers. Take your hands to the back of your head, pressing your head a little back into your hands. Allow this to provide some leverage to tilt your heart more toward the sky. Slide your hips down and forward. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, release the grip, fingertips to the top of the mat, lift your back knee, step forward and fold. Just hang in ragdoll. You can catch for opposite elbows. Let everything rinse out of the back of your body and into the earth. Anything you're holding in the form of physical tension or maybe thoughts that feel stuck, energy that feels stuck, imagine that you can create some fluidity to it rinsing it away. Next breath in, halfway lift, elongate. When you exhale, place your fingertips to the mat, turn your heels in and your toes out, bend your knees, come down through a squat and all the way to a nice comfortable seated position. We'll take the right heel and draw it in towards your left sit bone. Then step your left foot outside of your right thigh and see if you can root into both sitting bones evenly. Place your left fingertips down to the base of your spine, breathe in and stretch up through your right arm. As you breathe out, take a, lay, a nice twist, hooking your elbow outside of your thigh, or you can kind of give your leg a hug here. Flex into your right foot and feel the knife edge of that foot driving down to create an anchor point, and then grow from your toes up to your hearts, and spiral in just a little bit deeper with every exhale breath, but be in no rush 
and also take away any pressure to twist to a certain depth. Just staying here one more breath. Unwind and switch. So the left heel comes in towards your right sit bone and then your right foot steps outside of your left thigh. Trying to sit up really nice and tall with a straight spine. Root your right fingertips down behind you. Inhale, lengthen through your left arm and left side body and exhale to find your twist. Every inhalation creating more space, more length. Every exhalation, rinsing out or like wringing out your spine. Unwind and just come into a nice, easy seated position. We'll close our practice here just with a few rounds of breath. We're gonna try to find a symmetry to the inhales and the exhales. So breathing in for the same amount of time as we're breathing out. Your palms can face either up or down on your thighs, whatever's comfortable for you. Soften or close your eyes here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose, slow, steady stream of air. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more, inhale, relaxing the face. Exhale, soften around your shoulders. Now let your breath just be natural. And for a few final moments here, pause and notice how you're feeling. Notice if there have been any little shifts as a result of just this tiny bit of movement and breath and concentrating your awareness into the present moment. Draw your palms to prayer at heart center and create an intention for the rest of your day ahead or maybe moving into your week ahead. And just let it be whatever comes into your mind and then let it resonate through your entire body. And we'll take one final breath together Inhale fully, big sigh, exhale out of your mouth. And blink your eyes open as you're ready. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time to move with me today. From here, if you'd like to lie down into Shavasana and take a longer rest, you are more than welcome and I would encourage that if you can. Uh, but I hope that you have a great rest of your day or your night wherever you are. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can do that down below. You can also join as a monthly donation member. This really, really helps to support me. I'll see you very soon in the next class. Bye.